talk about another way to organize by color, and that is categories. So categories are kind of new. We've had categories before in the previous versions of Outlook, but they were only text labels. Now categories are also associated with a color. So if I'm going to go ahead and take these emails and from Twitter, let's say, and categorize them a certain way, let me close up my Organize inbox here, and take tw my Twitter emails, I'm going to right-click and choose categorize. I believe you can also go to tools categorize, but I'm going to right click here and go to categorize. You can see I've got quite a few already, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new category by coming here and selecting all categories. Before I click on this, if those of you are going, where is she going? And you're having to scroll down to see this, you might want to go to full screen in order to see the, um, to see the bottom of my screen. So uh, it's tools, excuse me, right click, categorize, and at the very bottom it is all categories. And let's click on that. We have up to 25 different colors to use for categories. And you may reuse a color because a category is associated with a color and a label. So this blue we've assigned to CTS could be assigned for another purpose. Blue could also be assigned to out-of-the-office appointments or a certain project email or something to do with tasks, so you can reuse a color. We're going to set one for our Twitter email, and let's make that, uh, just to make things easier, we'll make that a different color here. Let's go to this purple. Oops. Let me go ahead and do something different there, guys. Click on New. <laughs> so we're going to make a new category, and we're going to call it Twitter. And let's go ahead and assign that, that purple color down there and click OK. Now you notice when you do a new one, it automatically checks it. You can check several categories. So you can put a particular, uh, out, a particular Outlook item under several categories if you wish. And I'm going to click OK here. Before I click OK, do you notice that some of these have shortcut keys? If you're a shortcut key user, you can apply a shortcut key. So any Outlook item you want to assign to that Twitter category, you could just, for example, do Control F6 if that's what we assign to it. Control F6. Excuse me. Control. We'll make that Control F. I'm having I'm having a day. Uh, nine. We'll make it Control F9. Okay. So there, just made it uh, that uh, Twitter category. I'm going to do. Control F9 here, and it made that one the same thing. I can also right-click on it and choose Categorize and choose the Twitter category. You can also do it to several emails at a time. So you can select several of them and assign them to a category. Now what's nice is if you have things assigned to categories, let's say by project, it's very easy then to go up to the top of your view here and just sort by category. Now you're looking at all of your emails by project. When we open up an email, let me open up this one from uh, about Abby, uh, you'll notice that that purple color and the text label Twitter also uh, stay on the item. It's pervasive. 